the last night in Vancouver, when I did the, the last talk, a guy came to me at, uh, at the break who'd been on uh, the protest at Seattle against globalization when the agent provocateurs were sent in to cause trouble, which the camera shot, and was blamed on the protesters who up to that point had been perfectly peaceful. This is what happens, agent provocateurs, problem, reaction, solution. And uh, this is a guy who, you know, you know, believes in Jesus and all that stuff, which if he, if he wants to do that, that's great. Uh, but the point is, you know, it, it wasn't some way out guy who, who smokes a weed or something and, and, and has visions. And he was arrested and uh, taken to the police station. And in the police station, when he was being held down and the sergeant came over, um, he said the sergeant shapeshifted in front of him, turned into a reptile, um, and then came back to human and then shapeshifted again and returned. So um, then when you talk to insiders and when you look back at the texts that talk about the fact that this serpent race exists in planes unknown to man, just outside this frequency range, um, then there is a, a gathering mass of evidence that this is going on. And, you know, again, people who dismiss it without, without question, uh, without research, and without reading further about it, they're not making a statement about me. They're making a statement about themselves. Mm -hmm. The idea that they can come to definite conclusions about something without even looking at it. I mean, excuse me, and you claim to be in control of your own mind. Um, so it's not, it's not my job to persuade them. I don't want to persuade them. But the, 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 the point is there's a, a gathering mass of evidence to support it. And what I was going to say is, um, you know, you talk to physicists, and even within this frequency range, this narrow frequency range that we can access, that we call the universe, we can only see about 10% of the, the matter that exists in this universe. We can only see matter that um, uh, reflects light. Luminous matter, they call it. Dark matter that doesn't reflect light in a way that we can perceive it, we can't see. So, you look at the fantastic diversity of genetics and expressions of life that we can see in this tiny 10% and less of this one little frequency range, then you kind of think outside of this frequency range is infinity. If entities had not evolved through the reptilian stream, when you look at the unbelievable diversity of the reptilian species in this tiny little 10% of the, of the universe that we can see, in this little frequency range, then it's not that it's fantastic mm -hmm. that this species could throw up a form that is humanoid and has a, 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 an intellectual intelligence. It's actually uh, staggering if it had not done so. I, I, I spoke at this, this conference in America and um, I talked to this guy who uh, ran a magazine, and he was a real straight Christian patriot guy. Not into all this, you know, stuff. But, yeah. And he said to me, you know, I like your stuff, he said. I like all your political stuff and, and all your secret societies, he said. But I have a real problem with this reptilian thing, right? And the shape-shifting, he said. I can't get any head around that. I said, fair enough, not a problem. Just take what you like and leave the rest of it. So anyway, um, the next day, I walk into the area where he is, and everyone's in the conference listening to somebody, and so the, the room's empty. He said, oh, God, I've got to talk to you. He said, I've got to talk to you. He said, last night, he said, um, I met this man um, who had a real problem with me because of something he, I did that he didn't like, something I wrote he didn't like. He said, and he got angry and angry and angry, and he was screaming, you know, kind of, kind of totally lost it. He said, and the, the hotel manager came over and said, oh, hey, can you take this elsewhere, please? You're upsetting the other customers. So he thought, I'm, I'm out of here. I can't take this anymore. And he went to the elevator. And as the elevator doors were, were closed, and this guy, still at it, comes in the elevator, right in his face, get absolutely livid. And uh, he said, he shapeshifted in front of me. So... 
he was then much more open to the fact that this is no illusion. This is conditioned to believe that people manifest and entities manifest as like human bodies because that's the conditioned mind reacting. And I understand that, but any conditioned mind that says, I am not going to look at the evidence, I'm just going to dismiss it because it is so different, is a conditioned mind that is unbelievably um, imprisoned um, while thinking it's free. We, we are given a conditioned reality that is so different from what's actually happening that that gap, that chasm, between what, what we're conditioned from cradle to grave to believe is reality, the movie screen, and what's going on is so great that lots of people can't make that leap. And uh, that's not by accident, that's by design.